If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual coach. And today you're going to hear from one of my coaches and my co-host on the Monday episodes here at Spirit Guides. His name is Joshua Radawan. He is an amazing practitioner, coach, and he works with a lot of people doing paranormal investigations and helping them stay safe. So, so listen in. He's going to have some great thoughts for you. Enjoy. Today I want to talk about how religious trauma led to my spiritual awakening. So. First, I want to discuss what the difference between spirituality and religion is to me. You know, I had I struggled with religion very on. You know, I I had all this set of rules that you know, even at a very young age, it didn't feel like my own. So, when, and I always had questions, and I was told when I had questions that it was due to a lack of faith, and you know, I can understand that to a to a degree. But what I couldn't understand is how I would sit in church and I would see and listen and hear and feel all the, the judgment of, you know, the parishioners talking about each other. And, you know, it just created this energetic of distrust within me for the for the whole process. So, you know, I think I stopped going to church around the age of 13. I, I want to say, you know, like I, I did spend a lot of time reading the Bible. You know, I was a Bible coach champion in the state of Wisconsin, you know, at a very, very young age. And but, you know, like once again, I, I just had a lot of questions. So, you know, at the age of 13, when I was given the option to stop going, I, I jumped on it. And the, the truth is that I didn't do any work on my spirit for, for an extremely long time. And it was because of all of that judgment and trauma that I felt within the church and not being able to ask hard questions. And, you know, and I, and I get it, you know, like we all we all have a path, right? We all have our way of seeing the world and it, you know i have no judgment for for anybody at, the, at this point in my life but it did very much affect my inner and outer world or i allowed it to affect my inner and outer world and this is this is what caused my spiritual awakening my spirit got so sick from not feeding it you know what it desires and that's for me it's it's love it's faith it's happiness it's joy and this is the things that a lot of people find in church and uh, but it wasn't wasn't my path i didn't that didn't work for me so you know for me stepping onto a spiritual path you know it was very rough for me you know like i, I went through a very tough spiritual awakening because you know like I, I was very much an atheist for a good portion of my life after the age of 13 and so when my spiritual awakening hit it really tore down all the constructs that I had built in my mind of what reality was. And I was unprepared for it because, like I said, I had done absolutely no work on my spirit. So, you know, after that, the, the most interesting thing started to happen. You know, like I, I grew up in a Christian church, non-denominational, families Lutheran. But, you know, when I, after I went through my awakening, the angels were the first beings that showed up to me, which, you know, after years of being a really sacrilegious prick i was surprised and a little worried when they showed up but you know they, they were there to help me and that 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 was that was a big part of my path and they led me to working with kelly and, you know, i've di discussed this you know before but you know I, I was very magically and divinely guided to the shamanic work that i i currently do and that was from you know angels that come from a very christ predominantly christian construct so you know take of that what you will you know and but the, the spirituality piece to me is a deeper dive you know for me religion is a way to kind of bypass what's going on in our internal worlds and just kind of phone it in and not have to take that deep dive. And once again, it's no judgment. That's what it means to me. For me, spirituality is starting to take a look at those darker parts of ourselves, figuring out who we are, why we operate the way we do, and how can we create our best life, our dream life. And that's what spirituality spirituality has been to me. So now I, I live my life 
is my experience is my Bible. Now that you know, when I look at myself as, you know, one of the characters, right? Like I see myself as someone who is learning from people that he meets on his alchemist journey. And these people share their wisdom with me. And I find that this way I am, you know, when I listen to spirit, I am led to the places that I am meant to go to receive the information that I need. And uh, that will help me on my journey. So that's what that's what my life's been like, and allowing the universe to guide me to these places, and having that faith. And that's where that's where my faith was restored when I began to see all these signs and messages that there was something so much bigger than what my monkey mind would let me allow. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,